I am a marine ecologist. I am currently working on climate change issues and I specifically work on glass sponges, marine sponges, which we find at the bottom of the ocean and also feather stars, which are a type of invertebrate that also live deep in the ocean. My name is Angela Stevenson. I'm an Ocean Leaders Postdoctoral Fellow in the Department of Zoology. I'm originally from Quebec. I have two different projects, uh, one on the glass sponges where I study the, um, their sensitivity to climate change. So for that project, I, I go out to the field, to the house sound, collect the sponges and bring them up to the lab uh, where I put them in aquaria and study them for several months on end where I manipulate their environments and then I uh, examine the changes in their filtration for example, uh, see if their uh, tissue death is occurring and at the end of experiment, as the experiment after five months or so, I then collect tissue samples and do molecular and microbial work on this tissue sample. Uh, one of the big aspects of my work is I research mesophotic environments, so deeper environments between 30 and 120 meters. I use feather stars to look at patterns across that depth gradient and how they compare with sh the shallow waters. So, um, for example, do we see more fish in the deep than we do in shallow waters? And we can look at feather stars um, to answer these questions. Yeah. So with these feather stars, I primarily do all of my work at the bottom of the ocean um, while scuba diving. So I sit there and watch the feather stars grow. I watch their micro world. Feather stars house a whole metropolis of any, every type of invertebrate you can think, think of live on feather stars. So we're talking crustaceans like spot lobsters and shrimp, and they even have fish that have evolved just to live on their um, host feather star. So they have no fins and they live solely on these, these animals, moving along the feather stars and compare them between these depth gradients. I also observe and look at the damage that fish are um, doing to these animals. Feather stars and glass sponges help maintain biodiversity. And today, humans continue to impact their environments. And so we're trying to understand how their interactions with animals in their environments might help them benefit and resist any of that change in the future.